Now, Pa, he didn't need, uh, like, you see what happened with Kanye West. And, uh, I mean, not that I do anything illegal, but that's a common sentiment amongst uh, 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 Bitcoiners. Another reason I think it's him. It could be him, bro. But check this out. He didn't need to see Kanye get his bank account closed and lose um, whatever he lost. He knew early, and he fought against things like uh, surveillance or whatnot, true crip. You see what type of person he was. So, being that he was making, you know, that type of money, 300M or whatever, Again, this is rough. It could be more. It could be less. But, you know, for sure, for sure, it's in that range of uh, 300 M. So worst case scenario, he got 100 M. Best case scenario, he got 500. But even if he had 100 K, one thing about it, when you start making that type of money, or just a lot of money, period, Especially, especially if, uh, you know, I don't want to say it's money laundering because it's not. Because so far he was moving legal. Legally. Boom, bam. You got all this money. You start thinking, how do I protect this money from the haters? Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Or whoever. Vaza. Whatever. So how did he go about it? Uh, he chose to go to Hong Kong or send his people, I don't know, whichever he did. And he proceeded to buy gold bars, straight gold. He didn't keep that gold in the bank. Nah, son. He bought that gold with cash money. Okay? No face, no case, no trace. You understand me? He stashed the gold, not in some safe to deposit, not in a bank, not in a U-Haul storage, okay? Not even in his mama house. He stashed that gold, my friend, across many houses he owned or rented or whatever across the city. Either Philippines, Hong Kong. The man was, was, was kind of getting his... Uh, he was the boss out there, you know what I mean? Big, fat, white dude, you know? And they said he was tall, I don't know, but big, fat, white dude. He kind of out in Philippines and these little Asian countries. You know, white men love Asian women. You know how they do. You know, taxes? Paying taxes? Ha, ha, ha. Listen, out there, they pay taxes, yes, but... uh. They don't call it taxes. They call it <clears throat> they call it bribes. Okay, and he had enough to buy politicians and all that. So he good. The man was good as far as that. Now, Young Thug said, and uh, I'm not gonna say free Young Thug because I have opinions on that. All right. If you don't know Young Thug, I'll explain. It was a famous uh, song. I believe it was Power uh, by the uh, legendary artist uh, Young Thug. Thugger, Thugger, Mother Effer. Uh, again, I won't say free him, but I'm not going to deny that the music is amazing. And I was a big fan, still am kind of, of the music, not the activity. Young Thug, and I quote, said, First you get the money, then you get the power. He had auto-tune. He sounded better. Um, I say that to say, uh, uh, our homie Pa, okay, our friend for the day, all right, uh, who, uh, who fell in here, Pa ran it up, ran up a bag, okay? He went from rags to riches. He went from trolling on the forums to 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 having a harem of, of the finest 
Asian meow, and not the kind you can eat. Although, you could eat that too, depending on who you are. Holy. He got the money now, but it was time for the power. The power. So, he had to get some muscle. All right. You know, when you get money, you get haters. All right. Some of your haters might be uh, uh, practice magic. Some of them might uh, just send you uh, DMs on on the ground uh, or troll you. <laughs> Some of them might pull up with the stick and the FN and the switch. So he had to make sure he ha- he was muscled up. Okay. He may- had to make sure uh, 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 he had the, you know, how Jay Prince... You get a chain snatch and he makes some calls and bring. Same thing. Except he didn't make people check in. Okay. But this is not that topic. Let's stay focused. So he had to get his muscle, his power. All right. Had to get him some goons. He didn't start his own YSL. But he did something slightly more polite and white. Okay, that's for the Negroes who be in them gangs talking about this. I love y'all, but stop trying to tell me or clown me when I'm giving you advice because I want to see you do better. You talking about uh, uh, I'm a BD, DD, Larry Hoover. You don't even know. Come on, uh, you don't even own the block you fight over. Anyway, lucky for Pa, all right? He didn't check in with the Bloods or the Crips. He, he was in the Philippines. Think about the Philippines, all right? It's a, it's a, it's a, it got a, uh, what they might call a red light district, all right? And that part was filled with uh, uh, mercenaries, or let's call them mercs, uh, a.k.a. hitters, the shooters, the steppers, whatever you want to call them. In, in your language. Now, not all of these hitters was just Filipino street dudes. Oh, no. That's if you broke, maybe, if you're trying to do the DDBD thing, Bloods Crips. They got that, too. But this man was a millionaire. He wasn't about to check in with WAC 100 or Big U. Nah. He ain't doing that. Or, or what's that dude on the on the ground talking about check in? Ha ha ha. Son, Paul wanted some elite hitters. I'm talking about the type like uh, uh you ever play Hitman? All right, with the barcode on his head. Pull up with a silence. Pew, pew, pew. You won't even uh, let me tell. That's what he wanted. Some done clean, efficient, not not a drive by shooting. That's for your homies, the DDs and BDs. God bless them. Holla. Drive by. Get out of here, son. You sending me threats because I'm telling you I want to see you do better? Okay. You keep doing that. But let's see what happened with uh, Polly. So my man, so my man, Pa, again, Again, not all of these hitters was Filipino. Some of them was, uh, was what they call expatriates from the U.S., United States, U.K. And what, what um, the a common feature amongst these uh, expats, if you don't know what that word is, basically it means uh, it's almost like immigrant, but it's like a... You know, it's like an American dude or... I don't know the difference between an immigrant and an expat. I'm just a YouTuber. I'm not an English teacher. But what I do know is it is often attached to a foreigner living in these countries, usually for working purposes or business. So, Polly would hit up some of these... Uh, 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 let's call them exotic expats. Okay. Usually uh, ex-military, all right, from the U.S. Like, let's say dude just got done serving in Iraq, all right? But it's PTSD, man. You tell him, ah, nah, bro, it ain't working. 
You got to be in action. That's all they know. So he tell him, I'll give you a job. One of his many mercs, right, or hitters, I'm going to break it down for you, was named, uh, 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 and I know his name sounds super generic. It almost sounds like a fake name. <laughs> Dude was named David Smith. I'm telling you, super generic. Sounds like a fake name on a fake ID. <laughs> it sounds like uh, what you use to sign up for OnlyFans, but you don't want to. Come on. So generic having a double S name, Dave here. He was a top dude. All right. Pa hired Dave to form and lead his group of, of, of hitters or enforcers. See, see Polly, he didn't just have one or two shooters. He had a crew all over the world. But he started small, and Dave was kind of like his, uh, I don't know if it was a favorite right-hand man. He was a trusted, but he chose him as the leader of the, you know, he he would be like the manager and they'd be. So yeah. All right. So Dave proved his value early. This is, by the way, time moved fast, right? So I forgot to tell you, uh, 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 Polly, he went past RX Limited <laughs> and now he's in a, I'm looking left, I'm looking right. He's in the RX Unlimited. AKA the streets. He went past selling prescription meds to selling uh, the type of meds that there is no prescription for. AKA the white girl. I am saying the names here, YouTube, for educational uh, uh, references, but I'm going to censor it. The white girl, bruh. The coca. The yola. The, the 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 type of it looks like sugar or salt, you know what I'm talking about. The bricks Gucci wrapped about moving back in the day, all right. So he was moving bricks, okay. Dave was kind of with him in in that uh, period of him moving bricks, bricks of the yola, bricks of the coca, okay. And he proved his value because he he earned his trust. It was a yacht carrying cocaine sank off the coast. But see, Dave wasn't the type to be like, hey, boss, it just sank. Nah, son. He toured the local beachfront and bought the, co the cocaine from the fishermen that rescued it. See, that? them fishermen, they knew what's up. They wasn't the type like, uh, like uh, you see in the news, a uh, uh, shipment gets... Uh, Destroyed fishermen call the cops. Now there was some different fishermen. Them fishermen, <laughs> hey brother, so brick. So Davy, he he went uh above and beyond to recover that, you know what I'm saying, from the fishermen. And he bought it for fractions of their street value. I mean, for them, they were like, hey bruh, I was gonna have to move this. <laughs> fiend by fiend. So you just bought it all off me? Thank you. Free money. Pa appreciated that. And you know, he remembered that. You see now what he becomes. Uh, his his top, uh, uh, his best man. Like Soldier Boy said, my best man hit your best man on his worst day. Woo! Let me chill. Now, Paul's new group of thugs would sell the, 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 uh, not just Yola, all type of whatever, all type of druggies on the streets, on the street, while the police and authorities, they said, I'm asleep, bruh. They said, I'm legally blind because they were on his payroll. Okay? The man had millies. Everybody was on his payroll. Cops, politicians. He ran it, okay? 
this is the period where Pa transitions from a dubious, sketchy, shady, crooky businessman to just all out full blown criminal mode. He he so again I don't want to talk about his personal life. You can look that up, but um it is believed that during this period he was going through a divorce and somehow, some way, he found out he was adopted. And they said that people, when they usually find out later in life, they don't, they don't take it too well. So, just like the last documentary, I mean, at least Albert from the last documentary, which if you haven't watched, click here, that dude was was, was broke. So, he got arrested and then he was broke, so he still had to do some crime. This dude was already 300 million plus still making money. He didn't have to sell what he was selling. So that's why they said that what happened in his personal life might have triggered something because, again, listen, me, AK, you give me 1 million, I'm done. Whatever it is I'm doing, I'm done. I'll take that one million and flip it and chill. But what makes you so, you know, like you don't got to move bricks, bro. You're 300 mil up. So Izzy, who uh, wrote the script here, shout out to him. His channel comes soon. He says this. I ask, what separates a criminal from a villain? I tell you, in Pa's case, I believe it's the level of violence he employed to keep control over the Filipino underworld. Oh boy, now get ready. This new this next chapter here, this is where things take a a left turn. Okay. Brace yourself. Go get some water. I would do a commercial break, but um, we don't have sponsors yet. So any sponsors, all right, hit me up, comments, whatever, DM Instagram. I'm verified, so don't, don't fall for you fakes. Holy. Now, I don't have a sponsor yet, so again, I'm going to use this commercial break to really just ramble to you real quick. But my rambles, uh, the reason you continue to watch me is because when I ramble, it's not conspiracy theory nonsense. And I'm not going to pass it off to you like it's the truth. I could be wrong. But when I do come, even with a uh, uh, so-called uh, conspiracy theory, I won't just yell in your face like Sneeko. Just a bunch of random buzzwords. I'm going to tell you straight up. Now, the reason, my personal opinion, you can make you wrong. But the reason I make the argument, or I see a little bit of truth in the argument, a little bit of weight, that Paula Rue is Satoshi Nakamoto, the dude who uh, invented Bitcoin. So far, I've said what? And I'm going to make this quick because we got to do this story. We've said that he wrote E4M, which is an encryption uh, software, pretty much used as the foundation of such softwares, such as TrueCrypt with Snowden, Eddie. And um, he also wrote a bunch of, of, of online casinos, some successful, some not. Nonetheless, this was, uh, how do you call it? 
uh, one of the earliest forms, and people usually point to You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. Make sure to click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm.